Hello everyone, Luke here from 3D Tutor. And in this tutorial, I will teach you how to set up a most basic wireframe for your object within Unreal Engine 5. So for that, let's go ahead and create ourselves some material. Let's right click, create material, and call this a wireframe mat, like so. Double click on it. Once we get into the material graph, the first thing we'll want to do is make sure that the properties are set up properly. So we'll want to set up the blend mode to translucent. This will allow us to have a material with a transparent background. Then we'll need to scroll down and underneath the advanced tab, if you don't have it, make sure you click on it to expand on it. We'll want to go all the way down and find ourselves a wireframe. So we'll want to enable that. Then right away, we'll get ourselves this sort of a frame. Just a quick thing before I forget, if you want your material to be double-sided, all you have to do is scroll up and enable yourself a two-sided material. If you set this to be true, you're going to be seeing your material from both ends. In my case though, I don't really need this because I'm going to set up my wireframe to be on top of an object. So I'll be taking this off. In order to set up a different color for it, We'll have to hold free and click on a graph, left mouse button, to get this. We can use this to set up a color, any color we want. So for example, I can make it a nice cyan color, like so. We're also going to be connecting it to emissive color, to avoid any shadows. And for that, we'll also want to create a multiplier of this value just in case we wanted to make it brighter. So for that, we're going to hold M and click on the materials graph. Then hold one and click on the graph as well. We're going to connect both of them to the multiplier, just like that. And we're going to make sure that this value, the default value is set to one, like so. Now we're going to connect it to emissive color. And just like that, we're getting ourselves a nice cyan of a wireframe. Then the next step that we're going to do is set it up so it would be a slight offset from the original object since by default it would be sticking it right onto the object itself and overlapping its textures so what we're going to do is we're going to right click on a graph and search for vertex normal vertex normal workspace so this one over here let's go ahead and select it then we're also going to want to make this an adjustable value so for that we're going to do it the same way we did previously hold m click on a graph hold one click on a graph and connect both of them just like that we're going to set this value as the default to one just like we did previously and connect this to the world position offset just like that so now we have ourselves a material setup with a wireframe with the color and the position offset all we need to do is make sure that the values are adjustable for when we're using a material instance. So for that, we're going to right click on this color and convert to parameter and call this a wireframe color. So then the multiplier for the color, let's right click, convert it to parameter. And for this one, we're going to call this emissive ring. So, and then finally, this value, we also need to change it to parameter. And we're going to call this a vertex offset. Like so. As this one is going to be controlling how much this offsets from the original values of an object. And that's pretty much it. Now that we have everything that we want for an object, we're going to click Ctrl and S to save it. And hit close for the graph. Now we're going to right click and create material instance. So within this instance, we're going to be able to control the emissive strength, vertex offset and wireframe color. So first things first, I'll just make this window just a little bit smaller. So first things first, we're now going to be applying it directly onto an object and instead we're going to duplicate it. So I'm going to hit control C and control V on it. This way I have a duplicate out of it. 
going to click Control Z to undo my transformation. Okay, so now we're going to drag this onto our object like so and apply this wireframe. We can make some changes within our material instance. So for example, we're going to make the vertex offset by increasing this value. We're going to expand from the original value. And just like that, we're going to inflate our wireframe. We don't need it to be too big. So I'm just going to keep it as five, like so. But it all depends on the size of your object. This object is quite large. So that's why I'm using a value of five. As for the wireframe color, it's not quite as bright and we can increase the emissive strength. For example, we can set this to 10 to get a way brighter of a wireframe like so. And also we can change the color for it just as easily as that. I like the sign color though, so I'm going to keep it as is. And that's pretty much it. The only downside of this kind of material is that it is based on the camera's distance. So for example, if we get really, really close, it is going to, if you have a look at it, it's going to have a width of one pixel for the wireframe. The same applies if we go off onto the distance. However, because we're further away, lines are going to look much thicker. So keep that in mind for whenever you want to use this sort of a wireframe. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out our other online goods that we have. We do online courses as well as create 3D assets and PBR textures. All the links can be found in the description down below. Thanks for watching.